Hey everybody, Clever Dean back coming back to you today with another Genshin Impact video. Today we have some updates from the developers on 1.3, so let's take a look. Okay guys, so the developer update for today, 119. Uh, there's a few things going on here. Uh, it looks like they are going to be releasing the pre-installation on mobile uh, for Apple and Android devices. So that's gonna be kind of cool. So when upgrading weapons, it's kind of a pain in the ass to continually click the crystal chunks in order to you know level up your weapon so what they're going to do is now we're going to be able just to get a button and we're going to be able to populate them with as many as we want which is awesome uh that's gonna that's gonna save my finger a lot of clicking um use of controllers on ios devices they've talked about that looks like that's going to be coming looks like there's going to be a way for us to convert materials uh from one form to another um more details on this uh, we are expecting in the future, um, but this is kind of a cool thing if we're able to, you know, say we're able to transmute uh, ascension materials like the crystals that you may have an abundance of for, you know, one element. So let's say you have cryo crystals, a plethora of them, but you want animo crystals. Maybe that's what this allows us to do. I don't know. It'll be cool. Look to see what uh, what's going to happen with that the fatui animo boxer vanguard uh does not counter geo attacks any longer which seems to be like a silent buff cool there's a question about ganyu's talent uh harmony between heaven and earth they're asking why does ganyu's talent harmony between heaven and earth not affect the elemental burst that activates it and the answer is pretty straightforward by the time the harmony between heaven and earth is activated ganyu's elemental burst would already have been unleashed as such, it would not be affected by the by this buff. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward. It's a matter of timing. Like you can't retroactively buff something. It's gotta already be there. I don't even know why that was a question. Uh, this is interesting though. Uh, we would like a more original resin. This is the good one, guys. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, so their answer is A, one, all events in version 1.3 do not require uh, challenging ley line outcrops or domains and will not consume original resin. Uh, the vast majority of large scale events in the future versions will also not consume original resin. So uh, we don't have to worry about our original resin being taken up by events any longer. Um, two, uh, they're talking about a battle pass change here. It says our battle pass will be adjusted from version 1.3 onward to have additional fragile resin rewards this is good uh sojourn's battle pass and the gnostic hem will obtain fragile resin one per every 10 levels starting from level five replacing the mystic enhancement ores that were originally there this will not change the total amount of mystic enhancement ore gained through the battle pass these mystic enhancement ores will instead be distributed amongst the other levels so basically what they're doing is is they're taking every on every fifth level of the battle pass so on 5 15 uh 25 35 and 45 they're taking all those mystic enhancement ores redistart redistributing them amongst the other mystic enhancement or rewards and instead giving us fragile resin at those fifth levels of the battle pass uh this is awesome i am super excited about getting more resin uh that's awesome so this is this is good this is really good uh also i wanted to update you guys on something else i'll include a link to this in the description down below as well as the developer discussion in case you guys want to check it out but uh i found this it is a wish simulator you can do single wishes <laughs> and you can also do you can skip oh it looks like we got looks like we pulled a fish and then we can also do 10 wishes uh so it's really interesting it's a wish simulator so in case you know you want to just go wish a bunch it's cool um i've i've done i've done quite a bit of it just because it's 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 an interesting it's an interesting simulator especially with what we're what we're doing like i don't know if this equates but like apparently i have spent 848 dollars and 30 cents uh while doing this and managed to get three Deluxe, two Ganyus, 
um, Skyward Blade, Lost Prayer of the Sacred Winds, four Noels, eight Shanglings, one Bennett, 10 Shing Cho's though. Whoa. Like, I don't know. If you guys want to check it out, um, the link will be in the description. It's kind of cool. It's kind of fun in case you guys are looking for a resource to, you know, wish with and quell your habit. <laughs> Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy what you saw and you want to see more of me, you can check me out on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Would love to see you and interact with you in chat. So come on over. We'll jump in my world, farm some ore, kill some bosses, all that type of thing. So would love to see you. Also, don't forget about our Discord. Uh, we are we're a group of like-minded gamers sharing Genshin Impact knowledge and everything nerdy that we love and hold dear. Uh, there's book discussion. There's movie discussion. There's, you know, Genshin Impact discussion account amongst a ton of other games so please come on over join the discord and uh, hang out with us we'd love to see you also guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm and as always remember be excellent to each other and i will catch you in the next one peace